Hey folks, it's Peter Barker here. You join me on a lovely, bright, sunny morning for a virtual tour of a gallery. So let's, without further ado, start off with our right hand window. The sun is on it at the moment, so it's not a great view, but there we are. That is David Curtis painting at the top. Glorious view. Bridge in the Yorkshire Dales. Below that, a painting of Lake District, one of my own. That centre one is Magnificent Street, seen by Carl Nib. Halos of light around the figures. Now over to the left, two paintings of Rutland Water, the top one mine and the bottom one local artist Alan Oliver, both oil paintings. Let's go through <coughs> to the middle window. And there is another oil painting by David Curtis, Stackyard, next to one of mine, oak trees, and blue sky in the Lake District. And over to our left hand window, bottom right, Terry Preen oil painting, Southwold, one of mine. Yorkshire Dales, Sunlit Barn by the River Ewer, Asquig, and that's a painting of Kingham and the Cotswolds by Nigel Fletcher. On the top, I don't know whether you can see it terribly well with this sunlight. It's a great, colourful, big oil of the Kingfisher by Jamila Kibb. And now, going through the door. The light in here should be able to see the paintings better. That is a big oil of mine of a local woodland, Wakeley Wood. And then next to that, three oils in a row by Nigel Fletcher. Beautifully impressionistically described. Let me loose brush work. Excellent painter, Nigel, as all our artists are. And around the other side of the easel, bottom one, a watercolour by Trevor Lingard. Beautiful wet in wet washes there. Fun in the fountain. And above that, incredible bargain. It's a huge watercolour. 20 by 30 inches by Tom Shepherd, trumpeter. Only £650 a snip. And now above the window we've got a row of little 6x8 oils of mine, recently painted during lockdown. So these are all new into the gallery, the spring exhibition. That one I'm particularly fond of, it's in our village, South Luffenham. Lovely snowfall, shadows and sunlight. And pan out. Magnificent monochromatic oil by Jamela Kibb. Look at that lovely free loose brushwork, just glorious. Wonderful, all with white and black, various shades. And below that, panoramic painting by Nigel Fletcher of Ascot under Witchwood. I'm amazed that painting hasn't sold. Look at the light in it, look at that, isn't that just glorious? That stripe of light there, just wonderful, looking into the sunlight. And over to the right, right hand side of the left hand wall, we have another of Nigel's, Autumn at Tyso, in the Cotswolds, where Nigel lives. Stepping Stones at Doverdale, a watercolour by Terry Preen. Painted from our recent paint out to Dovedale, and above that, a David Pilgrim blue sail, old Harry Rocks in Dorset. I think it's Dorset, correct me if I'm wrong. Right to the BBC. And two oil paintings here by unmistakably John Lyons. Always a sense of humour in John's paintings, reflecting the man 
fine painter. This one's called Mrs. Brown's Pink Wheelbarrow for obvious reasons. And there's the long suffering Mr. Brown helping out. And above that, this one's called Anniversary Day. Granddad there with a bunch of flowers picked fresh from the allotment. And the ever present mutt by his side. And now to the right, in the middle of the wall, two stonking oil paintings by who else but David Curtis. That one's called Frosty Morning on the Dog Walk. And above that, a magnificent oil painting of the heavy snow at Missen where David lives. Just a few highlights describing the shape of the hedge and on the tree itself. And below that, two small oils. This one by yours truly. Flooded Meadows at Gretton, not far away from the gallery. And a small oil by David Curtis again. The light on that roof. Sunlit rooftops, Kilmory, delightful. And to the right of the plan chest, two more big oils by David. St Margaret's Bay, look at the light on that chalk cliff. Glorious. And the top, those of you who are familiar with North Norfolk, unmistakably that is Wells next to the sea. And on the next wall, six more oils by David. Bright spring morning, Wortley Hall at the top, look at the colour of that water, delicious. Must be carp in there. And that's of David's garden, his son Matthew reading in the garden, lovely dappled light. And this bottom one, South Burbage Quarry, a group of us went out for a paint out up in the Peak District last yeah, back end of last year. So I saw David paint that one in situ. And the bottom there is Chipping Norton, another one of Nigel Fletcher's. I know that tall building on the left I used to take my mum there for a, when it used to be a tea shop. Long since, long since gone as a tea shop. And that's another David Curtis. Look at that magnificent description of bare trees. Wonderful. And this lovely one, recent painting of his, Crowden Beck, the footbridge. And the top, sheep grazing by the River Idol at Missen, where David lives again. And this top one, trying to avoid the glare from the spotlights, another monochromatic oil by Jim Alekib. Such energy in his brushwork, wonderful. All painters will revel in that. And below that, a long panoramic oil. Let me move back a bit, try not to knock the furniture over. Of mine, North Norfolk, Burnham Overy Stave, and below that, the River Neen at Elton, painted last May. And some more of mine over here. I've been a busy boy during lockdown. Done a bit more painting than I would have done if we remained open, actually. Clouds over Bisbrook in the snow. And this middle one, I painted this exact scene before, many times actually, but I wanted a looser approach. I'm quite pleased with the result. Not quite the detail I often put in my trees. Here's the two. And the top, sorry, top middle, another one above it. This one is Bassenthwaite Lake. Try saying that when you've had a few. Bassenthwaite Lake in the Lake District. Lovely calm autumn day. And above that, a frosty one. Frost Spangles, did that one as a demo last year or year before, must have been year before. And that's a pastel at the top of Thornham in Norfolk, sun rising. And this one, a big oil, 20 inches by 28 inches, quite big for me anyway. Did that recently, a lovely frosty bridal way, sun popping through the trees. Just had to be painted, really enjoyed that one. Subtle colours. And below that, 
and oiled by Graham Weber, Silverlight Pin Mill. Beautiful brushwork, so loose. And above the kitchen door, two Trevor Lingard watercolours. Changing the guard, and this one's called Going for Gold for obvious reasons. Three young lads using mum's washing line and poles as the goal. I'm sure she loved it when they kicked the ball into her clean washing. Below that, a watercolour of mine, Water Newton, and another watercolour of mine, Hay Bales at Preston, just down the road. That's Preston in Rutland, not Lancashire. Uh, so another delightful watercolour by Trevor Lingard. Music in the square, such a loose brushwork, wet in wet. And below that, a new one, new watercolour by Robert Bashford, November Rain, Brimpton. Lovely feel, that one. Water on the canal or river. And over to the right here, just by the door, three oils by local boy Terry Preen. That's a ping at the bottom. South wall there, looking into the light. And France, Rochelle. And then over here, above the shelf, a wonderful watercolour by David Curtis. Equally proficient in the oil and the watercolour mediums. That's of the road to Achnamara, Scotland. And above that, Another big watercolour, 20 by 30 inches, a raven by Tom Shepherd, Raven's Call. And that's another little oil of mine there, couldn't fit on the other wall. Flooded fields at Yarwell, sunset. And here we've got three marine paintings of mine, Harbour Lights at Mosel, Hewtown Harbour. St Mary's and the Silly Isles and Harbour Gap at Mosel and now we go through into the smaller chambers here we have different wall colour, a darker colour which sets off light frames very nicely light frames or white frames especially on a white wall don't look terribly good now then these are all again all recent paintings of mine Linden at the top that's another loose one of a village called Ellsthorpe near Bourne. And another Water Newton, one I did a couple of years ago. Beneath that is a watercolour by Richard Thorne from the West Country. And next to that, one of mine, a painting of the West Country, the River Team. In Devon and then the local one there I did on, on the spot of the Chater Valley just had to be painted coming back from playing golf I grabbed my painting gear and rushed back and the light was still good and that one is unmistakably Tintin Abbey unmistakably if you've been there and at the top one of my favourite recent paintings when we had all the heavy snowfall. This one's called Heavy Snow on a Square in our village in South Lovelock. That is by Jane walking past conveniently. Just a bit of life, a lovely light, orange light from the window and the snow still falling. And over here, <coughs> unmistakably, a Carl Nib. Nobody paints moving figures and light like Carl. He's very self-effacing but he's a wonderful painter. Better than he thinks he is. Brilliant. Revered by all his peers. This one is Jenny Aitken. We've got ten new ones by Jenny. Lovely one of Newlyn. Stormlight. Lovely loose brushwork. And beneath that's a little oil, charming little oil Forgotten Straw Bells, that's called, at Dewey Abbey by Robert Bashford. And let's go by those. This one is by Mark Preston. You get 
a lot of bangs for your buck with Mark's work. Lots of paint and acrylic painting. He uses a lot of thick brushwork and palette knife to get this texture. So if you love texture, you will love these. And these are all new ones. Gorgeous, look at that. Red Hawthorn, May Blossom. And another autumnal one there. And another beautifully sculpted one in acrylic paint. Morning sunlight, Ashley Hay in Derbyshire, where Mark hails from. And another recent one of mine, a row of recent oils. That's looking down towards my village from the neighbouring village of North Lotherman. That's the Lake District one, the um, River Derwent in Borrowdale, and three more here. The Noon in Flood, and this one painted on the spot. Freezing cold day, got frostbite in all my fingers. I felt like it had to pack up very soon. I managed to complete the rest at home in the studio. Uh, what you've seen, and uh, beneath there's big pastel of mine. Study of a longhorn cow. Another watercolour of rigid thorns. Next to another big pastel of mine of Portree Harbour. Lovely light in the harbour. And over to the right here, Townbridge Stamford by local legend Alan Oliver. Lovely line and wash above that. A travelling guard, classic watercolour. So much of the white paper left to describe the form of the cyclist and the statue of Puccini. In honour of Puccini, that's called. And now we to the last chamber, that's Willie Lott's Cottage, a little oil by Nigel Fletcher. And this one is a loose oil of mine, very recognisable one of mine. Much looser brushwork, experimenting. We artists are always learning and experimenting. That's uh, a small oil of the view just outside our house, looking down the hill. That's another local one I did last year, I think. And that's, oops, i get away from the glare. That's Portree Harbour on the Isle of Skye. That's a Leslie Stones, small oil of horses. And excuse the human seat there. That's another recent one of mine, a loose, looser approach, slabby strokes rather than detail. Hay bales at Preston, oil. And next to that, yeah, knock them dead with that. If you like colour, you'll love this. Hummingbird by Jamal Akib. Polar opposite of his monochrome paintings, uh, the jazz paintings in the other room. That one, a line and wash, another one of Stamford by Alan Oliver and beneath that next to the desk a pastel painting of mine Winter Grazers at Gretton Weir and next to that whoops is watercolour by Richard Thorne and now move on to a couple more colourful ones this hummingbird Another hummingbird, smaller one than the other one you've just seen by Jim and the kid. And above that, POW! Tiger. Called Burning Bright, great title. Look at that, that's just one to wake you up in the morning. And then we've got some more new oil paintings by Jenny Aitken. Beautifully framed. She does a variety of subjects, does Jenny. Dunlin in the shadows. Whatever takes her fancy. Daffodils speaks for itself. Beautiful spring painting for our spring exhibition. And that's a view of Canada Goose by the Cromford Canal. And 
and then here. Down at the bottom, another very recent watercolour by Robert Bashford. Robert loves painting puddles and he does it very well, as you can see. Um, some more Jenny Aiken. There's a beautiful harbour scene of Newlyn, night lights for Newlyn. Just lovely. And there's still life. Treasures by candlelight. That speaks for itself. Lovely depiction of that candlelight. Glows. Uh, sunset one, Derbyshire. Loves painting into the light, does Jenny, and it shows. I think most of us do. Contrajour and yet dramatic lighting. And this one is another watercolour by Tom Shepherd. Tom, great conservationist, loves painting birds, animals, and humans. And there's Kingfisher. And. Next to that, a pastel by Alan Oliver, Rutland Water again. And this one of Jenny's, I can't see this lasting long, so if you like it, give us a call quickly, it'll go. Beautiful painting of daffodils in Cornwall against the lowering sun. And the last two paintings, another one of Jenny's. Tide rolling in at Morgan Porth, Cornwall, and above that, a fabulous Carl Nib painting of cattle with his trademark halo of light around them. Gorgeous. So there we are. That is a complete tour of the gallery. Hope you've enjoyed that. You really need to come in to see the work. We've got some really superb paintings, some of the best painters in the country but they look an awful lot better in real life than on film. So hopefully we will see you soon. We're open every Friday and Saturday, 11 till five. So do pop in, look forward to seeing you. Thanks for looking, bye bye now.